Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Attack. Yeah, our opponent probably still has us now. Um, tap land. Oh no, do we not go full control in time? Oh! Hello everyone, it's Seth. Probably better known as Saffron Olive. And it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. And this week, we're getting back to our poll. If you remember, two weeks ago, we had a poll for standard combos. It was Van Rock Chance for Glory that won. Well, last week, we had a brief break for some Planeswalker tribal action because of the BNR shakeup. But we're back today with Van Rock Cabo. And I am super hyped for this deck. I think this deck is actually super sweet. So let's break it out, talk about the deck, jump right into the games. Start Starting with combo piece number one, Vadrock Apex of Thunder. So Vadrock, it's the most important card to our deck. Whenever it mutates, we can cast a non-creature spell with converted mana cost three or less from our graveyard without paying its mana cost. And the key thing here is Vadrock, why it kind of seems like a snapcaster when it mutates, it really isn't because it doesn't exile the spell from the graveyard. Once we cast the non-creature spell from our graveyard and it resolves, it actually goes back into the graveyard. So if we mutate again, we can cast the same spell over and over over and over again. And that is what our combo is essentially built around. So combo piece number one, Bad Rock. Combo piece number two, another mutator, Lord Rockus. So what our deck really wants to do is mutate together a Bad Rock and a Lord Rockus, which is going to give us a creature where whenever it mutates, we get to cast a non-creature spell, convert a mana cost three or less from our graveyard, and also return a instant or sorcery from our graveyard to our hand. This gets us in a position where we can go infinite if we can keep mutating, or like semi-infinite. So the plan plan is, if we can get Vadrock and Lord Rackus mutated together, we mutate onto that mutate pile, we use Vadrock's ability to cast Chance for Glory from our graveyard. So our mutate pile and our other creatures become indestructible forever, and we get an extra turn. The problem is, at the end of that extra turn, we're going to lose the game. Well, that is where Tails End comes in. We use Lord Rockus's Mutate Trigger to return Tails End from our graveyard to our hand, and then when we go to the end of the extra turn, we use Tails End to counter the Lose the Game Trigger. And this basically means if we can keep mutating onto the Vadrock slash Lord Rockus creature, we just keep taking extra turns. We cast Chance for Glory, we get back Tails End, we counter the Chance for Glory trigger during our extra turn, we mutate again onto the pile, Chance for Glory, extra turn, Tails End back to hand, counter the trigger, so we get to take infinite-ish turns if we can keep mutating, and we're able to beat our opponent down with an indestructible Vadrock mutate pile and our other creatures. Of course, for this combo to work, we need to be able to keep mutating onto our Vadrock Lord Rockus pile. So for this, we have a bunch of relatively cheap mutators. C-Dash Octopus, Pouncing Shore Shark, those are especially good in our deck because they mutate fairly cheaply, and they can be flashed in, which means if we get stuck in a position where we have a Chance for Glory trigger on the stack, and Tail's End is in our graveyard rather than our hand, we can flash in a C dash or octopus on something like our Vadrock mutate pile and use it to flash back or cast the tails end from our graveyard counter the trigger. Also, C dash or draws us cards, Shore Shark plays defense, Regal Leosaur is incredibly bad in our deck. It is not in our deck to be a creature. We don't care about pumping our creatures, any of that stuff. It is literally in our deck to be three mana, trigger the mutate ability on Vadrock and Lord Rockus. That is it, because for the combo to keep going, we need to keep hitting more mutators. We need to keep being able to cast Chance for Glory and get back Tails End to take more turns until we kill our opponent. Finally, we got Polywog Symbiote, which is a, one of our best targets to be mutated on. It's essentially a ramp spell. More importantly, it also allows us to loot when we mutate, so that gets us through extra land. Keeps finding us our mutate creatures, and it does some cool tricks with Vadrock. Like, we can turn two Polywog Symbiote, turn three, mutate a Vadrock onto it. The loot is going to resolve first, so we can discard whatever, a Chance for Glory, some other non-creature spell, and then immediately flash it back, which is a lot of value. Otherwise, a couple of support pieces. We are dirty Teferi players in this deck. Teferi does two important things. One is, as we're comboing off, it means our opponent can't interact with our mutate pile, kill it, bounce it, whatever. They can't cast spells during our combo turns. Second, Secondly, if we run out of mutators and our combo is fizzling, we can use Teferi to bounce our big Vadrock Lord Rockus mutate pile, replay our Polywog Symbiote, replay Lord Rockus and Vadrock, and restart the combo with a handful of mutators. Thirst for Meeting uh, just draws us through our deck, fills our graveyard. Also, both of these cards, non creature spells, convert to be a cost three or less, so we can recast them with Vadrock and dig for our combo pieces. Mana base wise, pretty boring stuff. Shock lands, a Triome, some Scry lands, some basic lands. In the sideboard, for 
aggro, we get a bunch of sweepers, scorching dragon fire for control, a bunch of counters, and Heliod's intervention, artifacts, enchantments, life gain against aggro, and that is Vadrock combo for standard, and that's our gets Oz deck for this week. So let's jump into some games, see how practical it is to go infinite with turns, countering your own chest for glory triggers with a massive mutate pile with Vadrock and standard. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Looking for some new Corset 2021 cards? Well, you can get them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom has Corset 2021 up for pre-sale now, and you can check it out over at CardKingdom.com. All right. Against the odds time, we are <laughs> dirty extra turn players this week. We are trying to take infinite turns in... Uh, maybe the jankiest and hardest way possible. We're trying to go infinite <laughs> with Van Rock, Chance for Glory, Tails End, kind of a just kind of mutate pile, I guess. It, it, it is a janky deck, but gonna see if we can uh, get in a position where we can take infinite turns and also not kill ourselves to uh, Chance for Glory. Uh, this is not a keep. No lands, no keep. That's our rule. This we will keep. We'll put a, uh, Pouncy McGee to the bottom. This hand's not exciting, but it's fine. We got a Vad Rock. We got a chance for glory. So next piece is Tails End. And we even have the Lord Rocket. So I guess, really, like, if we hit lands and can find a Tails End, we're not super far away from doing sweet things. Well, all right. Triome, go. And our mana's gonna be wonderful. Pwn it. Mm, all right, could be Wilderness Rack, could be Teamer Elementals. Well, another Triome go. All right, Grow Spiral would suggest Teamer Rack. So, question's gonna be, do we resolve Teferi? Teferi is really good against Teamer Reclamation. Pwn it. Wilderness Rack, well, moment of truth, moment of truth. Pwn gets to untap. We play Teferi. Grow Spiral draws a card. Please, no counters. Untap land. Oh, come on. All right. So, opponent hitting the perfect cards. Uh, Well, now we're even more likely to just be dead. Wow, they Grow Spiraled into the counter. Like a, like a champion. Cast a Shark Typhoon. Untaps all their lands. Well, we will play a Lord Rockus. Um, if our opponent has cards, though, this is bad. They have infinite mana. They have a Shark Typhoon. They have everything. Opponent passes. Well, good news is let's mutate Vadrock. Opponent's going to scry one to the top. We will go over. We will cast to Fairy. Right on schedule. To fairy will bounce shark tire typhoon. Trio. Go to combat attack. Ooh, we're kind of close. We need a tail's end. We need a tail's end. Opponent. Land. Untapped. To fairy does stop the instant speed shenanigans for now. Ooh, hydroid crosses. Okay. Well, come on, tail's end. Opponent passes. Baby Godzilla. Take up to fairy. This Thirst for meaning. Idea. Hmm. One, two. This is one. Okay, so discard a chance for glory. We're gonna we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go for the combo. Discard a chance for glory. Discard a chance for glory. Steam vents untapped. Baby Godzilla. Mutate on the Vadrock. We gotta hit a Tails End or we will end up dying. So we will discard a Teferi. We will go under. We get two triggers. We will return Thirst for Meaning to our hand. We will cast Chance for Glory. Well, if we hit a Tails End, we should be able to parlay this into a win. If we don't, who knows what'll happen. Uh, no attacks. Extra turn. Land. 
Well, step one, thirst for meaning. Lord Rockus is what? Two mana? One, two. One, two. Okay, so thirst for meaning. We get a lot of looks at it here. Alright, no tail's end. We'll discard a chance for glory. We'll discard a land. Hollowed Fountain untapped. Mutate an octopus. Loot. Discard thirst for meaning. Under. So we, hmm, get back chance for glory, cast thirst for meaning. Okay, there's a tail's end. We will discard a land in a thirst for meaning. Take up to fairy. Unfortunately, we had to spend so much mana digging that we don't get to, uh, that we don't get to keep comboing. I've got time. So close, so, so close. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, we got a pass. Oh, we were so close. We found it. It just took us too long. So end of turn. Tails on the chance for glory. The problem is we very easily and most likely are just dead here. Because our opponent can make a big... Wow, they didn't make a big shark. Okay. Well, maybe we're not dead yet. Opponent. We will see. We really need this to ferry, though. This Teferi is the thing that's keeping us alive, and our opponent can trample over with this crosses. Storm's Wrath kills Teferi. Untap land. Nissa. Well, what's the last card? We get to combo off again if we untap. Do we untap? That's the question. Pwned it. <gasps> Throws away their crosses. Kill it. Indestructible. The best Vadrock ever. Well, what's that last card? What's that last card? <laughs> Opponent's realizing what indestructible means. It's not until end of turn. It's just indestructible for infinity and beyond. Opponent, untaps their lands. What's the card? What's the card? I'm going to float mana. Oh, man. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, I don't think they can straight up kill us here. If they don't have interaction, our odds of going infinite this turn are very close to 100%. Opponent untaps. Passes. Ooh, we draw the tails on. Well, we will just cast a chance for glory. We will play... Lord Rockus, mutate it. Hmm. Actually, do we Drakus? Let's Vadrock, actually. Let's, uh, let's mutate Vadrock. And a post scoops it up! Oh! Oh, we got him! I mean, we didn't go fully infinite because, because, uh, our opponent scooped it up, but we got there. That was good enough. All right, so opponent is playing Team Wreck, negates in... Disputes in, strokes in, Heliod's intervention in, go down, two shore sharks, Ugh, two Leosaurs. This is going to make the combo a little bit harder. This is the tough part, is being able to sideboard in enough stuff that we can still mutate combo, but also hopefully not die and defend ourselves from, uh, <laughs> from uh, Reclamation itself. What else do we cut? Uh, maybe we don't Intervention. Let's not Intervention. We'll go like down a Thirst for Meaning, down a Thirst for Meaning, down a Baby Godzilla, try it like that. A little worried about being so light on Mutate Creatures, but we will see, we will see. I mean, our game plan worked pretty well that game. We didn't actually get to go fully infinite, but eh, okay. This hand can stop a Reclamation, which is sweet. Eh, Bedrock's fine. Sea Dasher. Yeah, we'll keep Sea Dasher. That's something we can leave up counters and then flash in, potentially. Tap land for our opponent. Well, tap land for us. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. Passes. Well, 
Shock away, shock away. Need to be able to uh, flash in Dashy here. Bone it. Yeah, all right, see Dasher. Run it out. Hmm. Hmm. Well, go to combat attack. Hold it. Down to 18. Grow spirals. Sacred Foundry. Yeah, we're just going to pass this turn. We want our opponent to tap out. Then we can at least mini combo. Scorching Dragon Fire. Um, yeah, let's negate that. Wow. Okay. Well, play a land. Chance for glory. Dracus on the indestructible octopus. Do we want... Hmm. Get back chance for glory. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Untap. Chance for glory. Cryo. Go to combat. Attack. Draw a card. Hit our opponent. Ooh, octopus is nice. End of turn. Tails and the chance for glory. Untap. Octopus. Andrakis. Under. Get back tails end so we don't die. Go to combat. Attack. Draw two. I mean, we're not going fully infinite here, but boy, this was a turn cycle. Vadrock. Mystical Dispute. Well, all right. Pass the turn. Tails end. Chance for glory. I mean, that was a that was a turn cycle. That was a turn cycle. So we took a bunch of turns in a row. We made this indestructible pile. It's drawing us two cards in attack. I mean, I think we're in great shape. Come on, Scorching Dragon, fire that opponent. Scorch away! Scorch away! <laughs> and vote it, GG's! Take it down the monster! Take it down the monster! <laughs> that was what, like turn four? Who? Who? Teamer wreck us, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And I mean, that is the upside. Even if we don't go full on uh, infinite, infinite until we till we kill our opponent, which we were close. If we could have gotten Vadrock on that mutate pile too, we would have been able to uh, cast the chance for glory with Vadrock, get back the tail's end with uh, our Lord Rock is, and just keep doing that until we kill our opponent. But even with the partial combo, where we take like three turns in a row and make our pile indestructible, still pretty powerful. Well, uh, that was uh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was very good. Sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are looking to combo off, go infinite with Vad Rocket Chance for Glory. Just guy, just guy mutate. Just guy mutate turns. I don't even know. Janky, but super sweet when it works. Um, yeah. All right. I mean. Baby Godzilla into Sea Dasher is a thing that I don't mind doing. Mountain for our opponent. And Mono Red. Uh, Alright, Triumph. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we wanted to play that Triumph, but that's fine. No big deal. <laughs> apparently, uh, apparently misclicked. I thought I grabbed this Triumph, but... Wow. Alright. Rhyming and rocking. Opponent gets in, hits us. For four, down to 16. Gotta light up the stage. Shocks our face. Well, all right, we will shock our face. Play baby Godzilla. Go. Down to 12, that's not the highest of life totals. Losing the die roll against Mono Red can be tough. Opponent plays a land and. Annex. Well. Oh, not playing that Triome is brutal. Um, hmm. Well, Triome tapped, run out Leosaur, loot, discard Thirst for meaning. 
No attacks. Opponent. Ghost Gamma attacks. Well, I guess we just double block Annex. Alright, well, Annex down. They might have another one in hand. That would make sense. I'm Rock Knight. And a land. Hmm. So I think we play Teferi. This isn't a fight you Bounce, Scorch, Spitter, draw a card. Hollowed Fountain, no attacks. I mean, we are at 12, which isn't super low in life. Opponent, combat, come on, go to Teferi. Yes! Yes, that's what we wanted. No blocks. This is hardly my worst defeat. Light up the stage, full price, two lands, sure. Plays a land. And show us a score spitter. Rhyme Rock Knight. Well now we get to mutate Vadrock on Leosaur. Over. Get back to Fairy. Cast to Fairy. Bounce the token. Draw a card. No attacks. Land for our opponent. And now we have a good first striking blocker, too, which is helpful. Firma champion. Two cards in hand. Combat. Yes, they're going into fairy again. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, we're going to block this time. I mean, we are fine with Teferi repeatedly dying because we can just keep mutating it back. Yes! Oh my goodness, they're still going for it! Okay, we will block Rhyme Rock Knight. We lose Teferi temporarily. You just let me know if you're up still at 12! Light up the stage. Uh, Torbrand is an issue. Scorch Spitter. Well, we will... Hmm... Mutate C dash octopus under. Get back to fairy. Cast to fairy. Let's slow this down. Bounce Scorch Spitter draw a card. Oh, done the hero thing before. Ooh, and that's legendary. Okay. Um tap land. Pass the turn. No attack still, no attacks. Now we get to counter this Torbrand, hitting that tail's end. Super clutch. Pota plays a land. Sure, sure, sure. Tails end. And a post scoops it up! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was... That was impressive. Okay. Well, now we get Flame Sweep. Oh, Scorching Dragon Fire. Time Wipe. We'll go down the Leosaurs. We'll go down a Teferi. We'll go down a couple Thirst for Meanings. How many Time Wipes do we want? <sighs> Maybe two? I guess we can go down to Octopus. And... Run it like that? Well, that was surprisingly well. We didn't even, like, combo or even draw combo pieces. We just kind of mutated, and uh, our opponent helped us by <laughs> continually killing that Teferi so we could keep getting him back. <laughs> if they had just attacked our face, they probably would have won that game. But uh, because they really wanted to deal with And I, I mean, I can't blame people for wanting to kill Teferi. Teferi is a powerful card, but definitely worked in our favor since we had that Vadrag out. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I guess we play the tempo game. Scorch Spitter for our opponent. Mm, I think we go bottom thirst for meaning. We would like to find some early game removal. Land for our opponent, Unchained Berserker. Well, this is a clock. Tap land go. We're gonna be upset if they play Annex and we didn't leave up one of these three tails ends. Bona Gamba hits us. Four a bunch, down to 13. Annex. Yeah, we definitely should have left up Tail's End. Bounce, Annex, draw a card. I guess the good news is, I don't think there's any way we're going to win this uh, this game anyway, with this with how this draw is played out. Opponent, combat. Attacks to Fairy. Attacks us. Really should have seen that coming. To Fairy down. Embercleave. Yeah, all right. Uh, so we have one turn to draw a sweeper, I guess. That's not a sweeper. Yeah, okay. Sure. Well, that was a good end for our opponent. And I don't think not leaving up that tail's end actually ruined everything. 
Well, run it back. We have a ton of removal. We just didn't draw it. That was an awkward hand. I guess possibly knowing the matchup and ordering on the draw, we possibly should have just mulliganed it. We'll look for something a little bit more uh, functional. Could use some combo pieces at some point. We need to play first. Well, okay. We got combo pieces, no creatures. Definitely do not want to try him. Land for our opponent, Fervent Champion. Oh boy. Well, hopefully they don't have another one. Mountain for our opponent, combat gets in, hits us. Down to 18. And Unchained Berserker. Well, let's baby Godzilla. Play a tab land. We would like to play this chance for glory while we have a creature out to make indestructible. That makes our mutate plan way more effective in this matchup. Opponent. Ugh, looks like they got removal. They do. Opponent has a dragon fire. Well, looking not great. Opponent's got the answers down to 14. Oh, that short arc would have been so good. All right, pass the turn. Yeah, we are taking a beating. Castle Embrith. Opponent goes to combat. Uh, attacks. And pumps, oh boy. Well, I guess it's chance for glory time. We play chance for glory. We get two turns. We take a ridiculously big beating. We untap. We play a land. We play Sea Dasher Octopus. Would have been better indestructible, but you gotta do what you gotta do. End of turn, tails on chance for glory. Untap, draw. Hmm. Go attacking. Mutate Shore Shark. Over. Bounce Berserker. And our opponent draw a card. Steam at Zap. Yeah. Well, okay. What do you got, opponent? Land. There's a second Fervent Champion. Yeah, I guess we should have. Should have expected all the Fervent Champions in the world. Opponent. Thinking quietly. Annex. Jeez, um. Alright, so opponent had the most beautiful of hands. Well, we're pretty dead now. Sure. I'll play it to Fairy. I know. Bounce Annex. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, we just we don't got the luck! We bring in ten removal spells and we draw zero. That's pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate just to uh get severely unlucky. But that's fine. Alright. Against odds time, we are comboing off with Vedrock in Chance for Glory. Yariane, all right, so some sort of some sort of control deck. We'll keep this. Would be a good uh, time to draw a Tails in. We're gonna have to uh, also resolve it, but we got the Baby Godzilla and the the Vadrock opponent going to play the Tap Land. Well, untap Land and Baby Godzilla go. Island for our impudence. Birth. Well, I mean, I think we're just gonna go for it. If we lose, we lose. Oh, we don't have the, hmm, we can't go for it, can we? Uh, well, cast Bad Rock, loot. Discard a chance for glory. Go attacking. Opponent down to 20. Makes a dork. Planes for our opponent. Passes. Oh, play a land. Go to combat, attack. Brazen Borrow Run, Bad Rock. Okay. Well, we're going for it. Oh, we still can't go for it. Why can we not draw land? Ugh, that's awkward. Um, well, we will cast Vadrock again. We're doing this, like, the really hard way, since we can't draw lands. Mystical Dispute in the main deck. Sure. Uh, we will discard a baby Godzilla. Pass the turn. Well, opponent's deck is doing a good job of being obnoxious. Opponent. Passing. Well, Sea Dasher Octopus. Mutate. This might just be Counterspell Tribal. Mystical Dispute number two in the main deck. All right, so it is it is just Counterspell Tribal. We will discard a Triome. Um, well, let's Shore Shark on Baby Godzilla Mutate. We will discard a, hmm, still not a land. Um, Chance for Glory. Over and bounce. Yeah, go attacking. Bone it, down to 18. Brazen Borrower. Land, opponent, attacks, and Elspeth Conqueror's death is really bad. All right, gonna get Yari on. Well, we will mutate Octopus, loot, discard. 
hollowed fountain under uh, we will not return brazen bar we're go to combat attack at our bonus draw a card and yeah pass the turn I think we got to leave up the tails end oh, we're really close to doing things also kind of far but bonus hits us well, we will tails and Yarion. Go to combat. Attack. Oh, we might be able to go for it. Hit our opponent. Draw a card. We do need a land to fairy. Well, Lord Rockus, mutate. Uh, discard thirst for meaning. Under. Get back. Tails end. Decline. Pass the turn. Uh, all those lands we discarded might come back to bite us, don't it? Combat hits us. Down to seven. I mean, technically, we are winning the raise. Sort of. Opponent passes. Well, we go to combat. We attack. Opponent. Down to six. We draw a card. Pass the turn. Another brazen borrower beats us. Shark Typhoon. Well, we will tails end the trigger. But on taps. Plays a land. Hits us. Interesting. Shatter the sky. Okay, so opponent rats our board. We finally draw land. Um, how do we want to do this? Baby Godzilla. Steam vents, go. Land for our opponent. And well, alright. Mutate C dash. Loot. Ah, uh, opponent makes a token. All right. We will discard thirst for meaning. We will go over to fairy. Let's slow this Bounce the token. No, Draw a card. Go. go to combat. Attack. Come on. Chance for glory. Chance for glory. Oh, Leosaur. I thought <laughs> when I saw the Boros card, I thought it was chance for glory for a second. Um. All right. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Are we going to win this game one against control? Brazen Barrower on our octopus. Um, okay, sure. Brazen Barrower. Well, play octopus. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Because now we get to mutate Lord Rockus on the octopus. Over. Get back Chance for Glory. Play Chance for Glory. Trio. Take up to Fairy. Go attacking. Opponent blocks. Sure. We draw land. So we take up to Fairy. I'll protect you. We play one, two. That's three. Alright, we got a one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, we Leosaur. On Lord Rockus. Under. Get back Chance for Glory. Play Chance for Glory. Shock ourselves. Go to combat. Attack. Hit you. Draw a card. Yeah. And a turn. Opponent knows what's coming. Scoops it up. All right. All right. Take it out of the control deck. That actually worked through the infinite counters while Mystical Disputed negates it. Uh, we can go down a Shore Shark. Go down a couple Leosaurs. Um... Tails End seems fine. Disdainful Stroke. They gotta have Elspeth Conqueror's Death somewhere. The question is, how much can we cut? Maybe we're going on both Shore Sharks. Let's just run it like that. All two and three drops. Go, go, go. Well, being up a game when we don't have our counters in the deck is definitely nice in this matchup. Now we have a little bit more interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, sure. I mean, this hand's not, like, busted, but it's fine. Get some scrying. We got a counter. Chance for glory once we get to it. Ooh, Vadrock's good. Definitely keeping thirst for meaning. Ship the turn. Land for opponent. Passes. Um, Hollowed Fountain go. I think we need to leave up the negate. We don't really want to get to ferried. Omen of the Sea, sure. Not going to spend our counter on that. But it leaves one on top. Untaps. Tap line. Passes. Oh, I would love to get down to ferry. I would love it. Um, but we'll just scry land. Do we want baby Godzilla? Yeah, I think we gotta go bottom. 
Bottom of Baby Godzilla, pass the turn. We got to hit our land drops here, I think. Opponent, Island, passes. Well, Sacred Foundry, tapped, pass the turn. So, we got to keep hitting our lands. We're not super far away from trying to take extra turds. Omen of the Sun. Um, yeah, sure. Make some dorks. Land. Bone it. Hits and hits us. Down to 16. Well, let's thirst. All right, opponent's spending the counters. We got way more cards in hand than our opponent. Missing land drops, though, unfortunately. Well, we will pass the turd. Yeah, missing land drops is not ideal. Opponent untaps. Land. Combat. Hits us. Down to 14. Mm, all right, gets the Ari on. Well, thirst for meaning. Again. We draw tap land. I'll play the tap land past the turn. Yeah, these uh, this land problem is going to get us. We are probably not going to be able to stop the Yari uh, on. Opponent hits us down to 12. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's, uh, chance for glory. Opponent lets it go. Play to fairy. Opponent has another counter. Good God. All right. Well, I mean, if our opponent just has, like, 10 counters in hand, then they're going to beat us here if they encounter Tails End. And that might be, that might be what they got. So we will Tails End. All right. Play a land. Uh, what do we do about this? All right, we play Lord Rockus. We mutate Vadrock. Over. We cast. So we get back. Oh, how do we want to do this? Get back Tails End. Cast Chance for Glory. Extra turn. Come on, Mutator. Yeah, it's just a land. So, go to combat. Attack. Yeah, our opponent probably still has us now. Um, tap land. Oh, no. Do we not go full control in time? Oh. Wow. All right. So, on Arena, you got to click into full control super early. If, uh, if you're a second or too late, Arena... Arena just uh, lets you die. That's disappointing. Well, all right. No lands, no keep. This hand's not good, but we will keep it. We will put a land to the bottom. Well, come on, magic cards. <laughs> uh, Scryland. Scryland to the bottom. Bonus dirt. Tap land for our opponent. I'll play a land. Play baby Godzilla. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. And a birth. Um, steam vents. Let's just main phase thirst for meaning. Discard a chance for glory and temple of triumph. Go attacking. Bone, it makes a dork. Island. Hmm. Well, steam vents. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. More births. I'm gonna play the octopus. Loot. All right, opponent counter number forty-nine. Uh, discard baby Godzilla. Play to fairy. Bounce the wall. Trust me, I have a plan. Go attacking. Opponent out of twenty. All right, we got it to fairy, so our opponent's future counters should be less effective. It would be nice if we could start hitting land drops. Opponent's gonna get Yarion, sure. I'll play a land. Take up to fairy. I've done the hero for. And, ugh. Yeah. Pass the turn. Put on depths. Birth goes away. Island. And if opponent doesn't do anything, we will chance for glory, end step, and take two turns. Brazen Borrower. Mmm. Yeah, let's negate that. Chance for glory. Take up to fairy. Those nothing. Cycle a triome. Uh, all right. No attacks. End of turd. Tails end. Chance for glory. 
So now we get to go to turn number two. We draw an octopus. Hmm. Okay, so we Lord Rockus mutate on Baby Godzilla. We might be able to parlay this into the combi uh, combo. Discard Baby Godzilla over. Get back chance for glory. We just need a Vadrock, really. Take up to Fairy. I've got it. Chance for glory. Pass the turn. To Fairy. Bounce the wall. Octopus. Mutate. Oh dear. Uh discard. Under. I mean we gotta get back the tails under. We risk losing. Temple of Triumph. Okay. That's awkward. Go attacking. Draw a card. End of turn. Counter the chance for glory. Well, we'll see. Uh, we probably should play that Scry Land first. Pwn it. Untaps. Draws a card. Land. Yarion. Uh, yeah, we'll counter that. Uh, take up to Fairy. Go to combat. Attack at our opponent. Draw a card. Oh, there it is. That's what we needed. That's what we needed through our puns. So now we get to Vadrock. Mutate. Loot. Discard Sacred Foundry. Over. So we get to get back Tails End. Cast Chance for Glory. Extra turn. Oh, there's been so many puns in this game. But get back Tails End. We draw a land. Take up to Fairy. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent, draw a card. Yes, it's a Drakus. Okay. Drakus. Oh, wait. Oh, we got it now. We almost certainly got it now. End of combat. Main phase. Lord Rakus mutate. Add it to the pile. Add it to the pile. Loot. Discard a land. Under. Get a bunch of triggers. Get back a tail's end. Get back a chance for glory. Cast a chance for glory. Extra turn. Um, play a land. Uh, how can we lose this? Okay, end of turn. Tails on the chance for glory. Untap. Land. Go to combat. Hit our opponent, draw a card. Thirst. And uh, let's thirst for knowledge. Discard two lands. Take up to fairy. That's more like Chance it. for glory. End of turn. Tails end chance for glory. I think we're going all the way. I think we're going all the way. Try to control us, will you? Untap. Draw. Oh, now we're definitely going all the way. Uh, okay, go to combat. Attack you. Hit you. Draw a card. It's a land. We will tick up to fairy. Vadrock. Mutate on Vadrock. Get a ton of triggers. Discard a Teferi. And that this should do it. This should do it for sure. Over. Doesn't really matter. Oh, the big mutate pile. Here they come. We will get back a Tails End. We will get back a Chance for Glory. We will cast a Chance for Glory. We will cast a Thirst for Meaning. Thirst for Meaning draws us some cards. Discard a couple lands. I can't believe our opponent's sticking this out. Chance for Glory. Extra turn. The combo continues. Get back. Chance for Glory. Get back. Tails End. Land untapped. End of turn. Tails End. Chance for Glory. Run out a Sea Dash Octopus. Loot. Discard the land. Untap. Combat. Attack. Hit you. Draw a card. Hit you, draw a card. Chance for glory. And that should do it. That does it. Full on combo. Full combo. Second maid phase. Take up to fairy because it's the right thing to do. I don't want to get yelled at. I already punted enough. Tails end. Whoo! 
through the control deck. That's what the deck can do. We set it up. We set it up, and we just go, man, that, oh, that match. That match, you got to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of the deck, of me playing the deck. You got to see it all. We lost because we didn't go into full control mode. We played incredibly sloppier in early games. But in the end, we fought through a million counter spells. Went infinite with Mutate and Jazz for Glory, and Control just had to sit there. They had to sit there for turn after turn after turn while we loop Jazz for Glory and Tails Ed. The deck kind of works. It kind of works. Even against Control. Yeah, all right. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are trying to go infinite with Chance for Glory in Vadrock, and uh, I think this is okay. I mean, it's obviously land heavy, but C Dasher can draw cards. We got a Scry land and a Cycling land, so it's not as floody as it looks at first glance. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what we draw. Opponent's going to five. Crocus is good. Uh, opponent, Team of Reclamation, maybe? Uh, we already have Chance for Glory. We'd rather find Tails End if we're going to uh, go that direction. Fabled. Oh, yeah, that is actually Tails End. All right. Tap line go. Well, now we're kind of in an interesting spot. We'll see what our opponent's doing, but we can potentially... does look like Team Wreck. Untap land. Uru. And there's the land. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they have Wilderness Wreck next turn. Another Tails End. Play the land past the turn. So what I would like to do is run out Sea Dash Octopus. Then next turn... Chance for glory with a creature out. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, run out Z dash. We'll see. Opponent gets to untap their lands, which is bad. Um, go to combat. Attack. Ooh, okay. Opponent shark typhoons. This is actually mostly fine. So opponent is going to block, but then we are going to chance for glory. Indestructible, get an extra turn. Triome. Hmm. Um, go to combat. Attack. Oh, Teferi is good. Play the land. Play Teferi. Tick up Teferi. Trust me, I have a plan. End of turn. Tails end the chance for glory. All right. And you're go. Well, now I like where we're at. We found the Teferi to shut down Wilderness Wreck. We have an indestructible Sea Dash. We can continue to combo next turn. Grow Spiral, sure, 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 do your thing. We might be able to just go infinite here. Opponent, tap land. Untaps their lands, they're pretty useless. Uh, we will start with Mutate Vadrock. Over. Chance for glory. Cast it. Go to combat. Attack. Hmm. Um. Oh, we'd like a land. Yeah, bounce wilderness wreck. No, I am not this Untap. Tig up to fairy. Here we go. go to combat. Hit our opponent. Draw a card. Land? C dash. Um, that's fine. So we get to. Oh, we're on damage. All right. We might be going infinite. So we will Lord Rockus mutate on Vadrock. Under. Get back Tails End. Cast Chance for Glory. So we get an extra turn. And we have Tails End to counter. Uh, so now we go to our end of turn. We Tails End the Chance for Glory. Yes, please. And I think I think we should be able to go from here. Go to our extra turn. We draw. We go to combat. We attack. Hit our opponent. Oh, I guess we should have probably C dash. All right, that's fine. Um, yep. End of combat. Main phase. Play a land. Take up to fairy. Play C dash. Sure, octopus on Vadrock. Under. We get back tails end. We cast chance for glory. Extra turn. Um, we will play Baby Godzilla. I think our sequencing here has been horrible, but we're 
we're in such great shape, it doesn't really matter. End of turn. Yeah, we could have gotten more value out of this, but it just, it really doesn't especially matter because I think we just have the combo locked in. So we go to our extra turn. We draw. We go to combat. We attack. Hit our opponent. Down to six. Draw two cards because we have two octopuses under there. Oh, another octopus. Uh-huh. And a tail's end. Opponent goes to six. Go to our main phase. Take up to fairy. That's more like it. Play a C-Dash Octopus on Vadrock. Loot. Discard a Thirst Remaining. An opponent! Combo! That was... That was a... Co that's just like the turn four kill. Maybe this deck's like busted. Maybe it's busted. <laughs> I mean, our opponent did do some mulliganing, but... Wow! That was impressive. Very impressive. All right, so we will bring in all of our counters... We will go down two Shore Sharks, a Baby Godzilla, a Thirst for Meaning, the Leosaurs, and ugh, maybe one more Thirst for Meaning. Let's try it like that. Well, that was spectacular. That was like full-on combo. Like, we could have done that most likely with the amount of cards we're drawing and Teferi and the Vadrocks. We most likely could have done that through our entire deck until our opponent died. Um, all right, we'll keep this... On the strength of Teferi, Teferi is one of our best cards. If not our best card against Team Iraq, so... Uh, yeah. Temple. Tails End. Well, I guess we'll keep it. It's not our best counter, but it is a counter. And it does help with our combos. Uh, we will play Hollowed Fountain Tapped. Castle Vandress. Opponent passes. More Tails Ends. Hmm... Well, play an island, pass the turn, see what our opponent does. Opponent draws. Ooh, passing. Well, we will C-dash. Opponent's got the counter. Uh, Sacred Foundry, tapped, pass the turn. I think this turn we just have to thirst for meaning. Hope our opponent does not go land wilderness wreck. Land and pass. All right, well, let's thirst. Discard a tail's end. And, huh. Yeah, let's go Chance for Glory for now. Untap. Steam Vents past the turn. We're actually not that far away from doing things. Pwn it. Untap land. Uru. Sure. Draws a card. Uh, all right, let's see dash. Pwn it. All right, resolves. Scorching dragon fire. All right, so opponent's not making it easy, but we get to play a mountain. We get to play Teferi. I know. Take up Teferi. Don't worry, I got this. Pass the turn. Now we're doing it the hard way, but we are getting there. Untap land for our opponent. Passes. Uh, well, take up Teferi. I'll protect you. Can we go for it? I think we can. So we get to play Vadrock. Untap land. Mutate Vadrock on Vadrock. We get to cast Chance for Glory and Thirst for Meaning. Draw some cards. Um, We will discard land and a mystical dispute, I think. Chance for Glory. Take an extra turn. Tick up to Fairy. Let's try this. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Go to combat. This is super sweet. Go to combat, hit our opponent. I mean, if they make a shark, that's fine. It's indestructible. So opponent does make a shark, sure. Our creature is indestructible, so that doesn't really matter. Opponent blocks. Um, Do we want to play this triome? I don't think we need to land. So we go to our end of turn. End of turn. We mutate C-dash. Under, we cast Tails End. We cast Chance for Glory. Take an extra turn. Tails End counters Chance for Glory. Cycle, Triome. To Fairy, bounce the Shark. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Go to combat, attack, draw a card. There's Drakas, that's good. So now we get to. Lord Rock is mutate. 
under. Cast. Uh, so we return Tails End to Hand. We cast Chance for Glory. We cast Thirst for Meaning. Combo. That's a full-on combo. Discard a couple lads. Uh, chance for Glory. Got to keep picking those turds. End of turn. We will counter that. <laughs> still working, still working. And we will untap, we will draw. It's a land. We will go to our main phase. We will play a land, shock ourselves. Tick up to fairy. Go to combat. Attack. Draw a card. Opponent. Down to 13. We're going all the way. We're going all the way. Another tails at. Post combat main phase. We Lord Rockus. Mutate. Under. Get a bunch of triggers. We get back Tails End. We get back Mystical Dispute, because why not? We cast Chance for Glory. We cast Thirst for Meaning. Look at this value! Pony GG's us! We will GG back. Ho! Oh, oh, the combo! Apparently we can beat Team Erek. Pose scoops it up! Oh, that is the dream! That is Vadrock combo! That is a thing of beauty! And uh, we're officially ranking up. Wow, that was sweet. That was actually pretty fast, too. Like, not only is the combo working, we're going infinite or semi-infinite pretty early in the game. Who broke it! Broke it! Broke it with Vadrock. Oh, that deck spicy. Spicy! Wow, that was, uh, that was a good one. I, uh... Against the odds time, we are looking to go infinite with Rodan. Rodan? Uh, <laughs> Bad Rock. Bad Rock chance for glory combo. Uh, Jess guy mutate, etc., etc., etc. And we're on the draw. Yeah, we'll keep this. I mean, we're going to need another land, but we're on the draw. And if we hit another land, we have a pretty decent hand. No chance for glory, but we got the Bad Rock. We got Lord Rockus. We have another mutator and the Tails End. Plus, we don't talk about this, but we, we have a fairy. <laughs> uh, don't don't look there. Uh, all right. Triome, go. Come on, lands. Looks like a, probably a control deck of some ilk. Ooh, Bante. That's not a land. Well, yeah, let's shock ourselves. Who knows? Maybe there's something we'll want to tails in. Man, yeah, we can't tails on that. Opponent puts a land into play. Is this like Bant Reclamation? Reclamation would be pretty obnoxious here. Uro. Well, all right. We have a million tails in. If we don't draw land, we're just going to hand size. We might as well counter it. Okay, we hit a land. Unfortunately, it is tapped, but it is a land. Untap land would have been way better, but eh, what can you do? Bone it. Fabled Passage passes. Eh, another land. Well, Sacred Foundry tapped. I think we're just going to pass and... Hmm. Pass and what? We can thirst for meaning, or we can... Uh, Dash into Octopus. Opponent gets an island. Untaps. Ooh, all the fabled passages. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just thirst. Make sure we hit our land drops. Discard. Hmm. What do we discard? Tails End and Teferi? Uh, play Vadrock. Ugh, okay. Well, that's bad news. Now our opponent's gonna get to get back... Ugh, this Uro most likely. And that's not great for us. Opponent. They need one more card in their graveyard? Yeah, the Aether Gust was obnoxious. Alright, well, here comes Uro. Opponent plays a land. I mean, I guess if there's good news, we get to Vadrock C Dash, get back to Fairy, bounce Uro. So it's not like we're just dead, but this is still not ideal. Now, yeah, there's Uro. What we wanted to do was have Vadrock, and then we could flash in C Dash to uh, cast Tails End, but. Opponent puts a force into play passes. All right, so we get to Vadrock. C dash. Under. To Fairy. Bouncer. Be Temple of Triumph. Uh, land to the bottom. Well, all right, pass the turn. See what our opponent's got. They get to Uro again. We're not super far away from comboing, but we need. We need a chance for glory. That's the main thing that we're missing. All right. Elspeth Conqueror's death is a bit obnoxious. There's the Uro. Come on, chance for glory. Well, play baby Godzilla. Take up to fairy. Don't worry. Vadrock. Mutate. 
Ludawea land under thirst for meaning. Draw some cards. Uh, discard some cards. Play a land, pass the turn. Opponent taking up the Elspeth Conqueror's death, plays a plane. Well, let's see what our opponent's got. They only have two cards in hand. I guess we should have, we probably should have shocked ourselves so we could Lord Rockus. That was a, a bit of a mistake. Opponent, four manas. All right, cast a big crosses. Okay, passes. Well, we will Lord Rockus. Loot away Leosaur. Under. Get back Tail's End. Thirst for Meaning. We do have to pay, unfortunately. Discard Thirst for Meaning and Chance for Glory. Island. Lord Rockus. Oh, I think we can we can proceed to combo. Although we're gonna have to combo through this Elspeth Conquers death, which is obnoxious. Uh mutate Lord Rockus on Baby Godzilla. Loot away Thirst for Meaning. Under. We get to get back Tail's End. Get back Thirst for Meaning. Cast Chance for Glory. Gotta pay two mana. Take up to Fairy. No, no attacks. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we will Lord Rockus. <laughs> How far can we go? Lord Rockus. Mutate. Loot. Discard a thirst for meaning. Under. Get a bunch of triggers. We will get back thirst for meaning. Get back thirst for meaning. Get back Thirst for Meaning. Cast Chance for Glory. Triome tapped. Take up to Fairy. Oh, I've done the hero. No attacks. End of turn. Tails and the Chance for Glory. <laughs> yes, Elspeth Cocker's death is definitely obnoxious. But we get to draw. Chance for Glory. You know, to Fairy. Bounce crosses, draw a card. Trust me, I have a plan. One, two, three, one, two. All right, so we get to mutate Leosaur. Oh, we're overpaying. Uh, yes. Uh, hang on, hang on. Mutate Leosaur. Loot away a thirst for meaning. Uh, under. Get a ridiculous amount of triggers. Get back Tail's End. Get back thirst for meaning. Cast chance for glory. We definitely would be going through our entire deck if it wasn't for this Elspeth Conquer's death. So go to combat. But because of Elspeth Conquer's death, I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to finish the combo. End of turn. Tail's end. Untap. Draw. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So we get to t go to our main phase. Take up to fairy. I've got some. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Are we a land short? One, two, three, four, five. We are. Alright, so the fizzle's on. Go to combat. Attack. End of turn. Tails end. And pass the turn. Oh we had the man it was hiding! Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh we could have kept going. Oh my god. Alright, well. We get rid of this Elspeth Conqueror's death. Hopefully this is fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, we could have kept taking turns. I mean, I guess getting rid of this Elspeth Conqueror's death is hopefully a good thing. Like, as long as we... As long as we get to untap here, we will win the game. We don't care about this crosses. We don't really care about too much of anything. This is indestructible. We're keeping it small so it can't get Elspeth Conqueror's death. We did have enough mana, though. These lads were hiding under the triggers. We had too many Chance for Glory triggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get so yelled at. I'm gonna get so yelled at. Pwn it. Thinking. Uro, sure. Not going to bother to counter that. So if our opponent does not do something very impactful this turn, they lose. There's almost there's almost no way we cannot go fully infinite from this position. Now that this Elspeth Conquer's death is out of the way. Elspeth Conquer's death. Um, yeah, let's... Tails end. The trigger. Opponent. 
Come on, pass the turd. All right, opponent's passing. We will thirst for meaning. And now it's over. Uh, we will discard a Teferi and a Thirst for Meaning. Untap. Take up Teferi. I'll protect you. Um, run out a Shore Shark. Loot away Thirst for Meaning. Uh, over. We need a clock. And now we just, now we go infinite. Uh, we get back a Tail Zet. We get back a Tail Zet. We get back a Tail Zet. We cast a Chance for Glory. We cast a chance for glory. We cast a chance for glory. So three turns in a row. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 23. Untap. Uh, cast Vadrock. Loot. Discard a steam vents. Chance for glory. Take up the fairy. And yeah, now this is now this is fully fully over. We have enough extra turns that we just kill our opponent. So some slight punning, but the power of the deck shines through. Get it, hit our opponent. Down to 19. End of turn. Tails end. Chance for glory number one of a million. Um seven nine. Alright, let's uh run out C dash or octopus. Loot. Discard C dash octopus. And now we don't even have to do anything other than a attack and counter our Chance for Glory triggers. Untap draw. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. Draw a card. Take up to Fairy. And that is the combo. Uh, Tails end on Chance for Glory. Untap. Draw. Go to combat. Attack. We still have one more, still have one more extra turn, so we don't even need to cast anything from our graveyard. Opponent goes to one. Actually, I guess we just, oh no, that's still, yeah, no, yes. All right, this lets us win immediately, so let's just do this. Loot, discard a land. C dash, over. And dead. Opponent cycles, we will tails end the shark typhoon trigger. And kill ya. Woo! <laughs> oh, the deck. The deck's good. The deck's good. It is tricky to play. There have been there have been a few punts along the way, I will I will admit. But the power of the deck and the combo shines through. <laughs> and we still win. Well, that's what it can do once it gets going. It is uh it is actually really hard to beat, especially with Teferi on the battlefield. You just get to go like we were super infinite there. The only thing that was gonna stop us there was running out of cards in our deck. And uh we usually with Shore Shark and Teferi can get blockers out of the way, so usually that's fine. But uh yeah, that I mean that shows what the deck can do. Just take all the turns, beat them down with the mutate piles. Uh alright, so opponents playing some sort of bant deck. I think we want to Go down the Leosaurs. Go down a Thirst for Meaning. Maybe an Octopus. Go up Dis Mystical Disputes. Disdainful Strokes. And yeah, maybe go down one more, one more Thirst for one more Mystical Dispute. Try it like that. Well, that went well. That went well. Despite our best efforts to punt it away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this deck. Okay. It's kind of funny how good Tails End is in some matchups. <laughs> you can like counter the Shark Typhoon. You can counter the Shark Typhoon, Sharks, Elspeth Conqueror's Death Triggers, Uros, Crosses Card Draw. There's like an oddly, oddly large number of things that it counters. Baby Godzilla. Opponent's gonna grow spiral, get their ramp on. Yeah. Cracks it, sure, sure, sure. Well, let's see what our opponent's uh, follow-up is. We are shields down this turn. Kind of funny that mutating on baby Godzilla was key. Uh, let's just... Huh. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Eh. Hollered Fountain untap past the turn. I want to leave up our counters here. Opponent finds a tap land. To the top. And passes. Uh, Temple of Triumph Scry. Vadrock. Uh, let's put Vadrock number two to the bottom for now. We need combo pieces. Go to combat, attack, hit ya. Pass the turn. Well, baby Godzilla beat down. Uro. Um, 
Do we want to counter this? Yeah, let's counter it. Untap land passes. Well, play baby Godzilla. Go to combat. Attack. Pass the turn. Probably going to mutate a shore shark here if we don't have to counter something to do some looting. Untap land. Hydroid crosses. Only X2, though. Sure. That's fine. Well, let's shore shark. Do some looting. Um, discard a chance for glory. Discard a tails end for now. Shore shark over. Bounce crosses. Steam vents untapped. Mutate Vadrock. Loot. On an Ether Gust, we will mystical dispute the Ether Gust. Uh, discard the land. Discard the Teferi. Over. Chance for glory. Cast it. Extra turf. And that should be game, right? Hit ya. Down to five. Untap. Hit ya. Lethal. Oh, this deck's good! This deck's good! <laughs> oh, it's so good! It's so good! Why has no one done this before? Why Why is it anyone else smashing people to death with, with Vadrock combo? <laughs> why? Uh, okay, well, uh, busted still. That was not even close. We were playing against, like... Bant Mythic Tribal Ramp, and it wasn't even it wasn't even a fair fight. We comboed through an Elspeth Conqueror's death, taxing our stuff, and then that game, they had Crosses, they had Uros. We just I mean, we just beat them down. <laughs> Wow! Alright, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Vadrock combo in standard? And the deck was oddly competitive. Overall, we went 4-2 with the deck. 4-1 in one of our video matches, played Mono Red again, and lost to Mono Red again. I feel like that matchup should be close-ish, but definitely not one of our better matchups. We don't have much removal in the main deck. Gets better after sideboarding. If we combo off, we can win. But really, we beat a lot of real decks. We beat Team Erect twice. We beat Blue White Control. We beat Bat Ramp. The deck actually is weirdly competitive. Once we start comboing, especially with Vadrock being able to get Teferi on the battlefield for protection, uh, we can really go to town and just not let our opponent ever untap. It's really hilarious how it works, and it doesn't seem like it should work halfway as good as it does, but the deck actually felt weirdly competitive, oddly effective, pretty good against a lot of the top tier, especially non-aggro decks in standard. Mid-range, control style decks, combo style decks, that's where our deck really shines. A dedicated aggro like Mono Red, that's where it's a little bit worse. But the combo is hilarious, it's effective, it's super unique, I like this deck. I like it a lot, and I kind of want to keep playing it, because it actually felt like it could win a lot of games and rank up, and do it in one of the jankiest, weirdest ways possible. Just like the idea that our deck is built around a chance for glory, encountering it with Tails End every single turn, and that plan actually comes to fruition pretty often is really sweet. Also, Poliwag Zimbiot. That card's insane. I'm not sure why people have not been playing Poliwag with Vadrock. Most of the Mutate decks have been like blue-green, auspicious steric style decks, but Poliwag Zimbiot Vadrock. Boy, is that some value. Just turn two Poliwag Symbiote. Turn three Mutate Vadrock onto it. Discard a Teferi or a Thirst for Meaning. Uh, you could do it with other Planeswalkers as well. Get that back and get a 3-3 Flying First Strike that's going to do more stuff uh, once you're able to mutate again is really strong. That is a very cheating on mana start to the game where you end up with a big threat, this Mutate Pile to trigger, and a Planeswalker or something. Uh, so I was very surprised at how powerful that interaction was. But in general, Vadrock combo... The deck was sweet. It actually felt good. It's really cool and unique. So, I don't know. If you want a different way to attack standard, a really janky way, but a janky way that apparently can win a lot of games, give it a shot. Anyway, that's been Vadrock Combo. That's better against the odds for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.